crossover episode. Uh, if TV shows do it, why wouldn't reviews do it too? Anyway, this episode is a mix of Chop Shop with On A Budget Reviews. Anyway, I'm Chit Fedens, and today we're going to talk about the Bell & Howell mod that I mentioned a few weeks back. Quick recap, the Bell & Howell anamorphic projection lens is an awesome and exotic projection lens with two times stretch and awesome sci-fi flares. It also features a single focus operation. The main problem is the focus row is stupidly long, so that cripples completely the functionality of single focus. On top of that, focus at infinity is really sketchy. As you can follow on the USHD thread, Chris Bold started to experiment with the Bell & Howell just to see if he could make it more usable. The issues being tackled were shortening the focus throw to a manageable rotation and improving infinity focus. The concept for this is pretty simple. Just get some malachoids, install the optics in there, put everything together and you're done. Sounds easy, but when you get to the nitty gritty of it, and you realize that you have to attach a bunch of disconnected parts and screw things that have non-standard screws, get rid of some of the original parts, put everything back together and make it look kinda nice, it's much more challenging than it sounded at first. Over the course of nine months, Bolt has constantly updated the thread with detailed information of his experiments and results in the process of making custom parts that go perfectly together onto the front of the bell and howl. Honestly, it's one of the tasks that you look at and you think, wow, what a hero for doing that and letting it all out for free, seriously. Now he's reached a final product and he's an expert in modding these scopes for real world use. The mod shortens focus throw to 360 degrees and it has two versions. One is a smaller helicoid which can focus down to one meter and the second one is a little more extreme with a bigger helicoid that can focus down to 30 centimeters. That's like 10 inches, a little over 10 inches. Beating all other anamorphic close focusing capabilities without diopters so far. The only downside of the new helicoid is that it focuses backwards, so it's Nikon style, it's Pentax style. The I wouldn't say it's an issue because it took me like two days to realize that in the time I was testing the lens, but it's something that it should be out there for people to know when they get it. The mod also has 58 millimeter filter threads not like the ones that I taped onto the bell and howl on the last video. The helicoid also comes with a screw on front cap. The front element is non-rotating so you can still use your polarizers and your variable NDs with no problem. And it comes with native focus gears with 0.8 pitch standard thing. The helicoid is awesome but for me one of the best things that comes with this mod is the lens support. It is made out of a modified telescope mount. The mount slides onto 15 millimeter rails and once you get the anamorphic aligned in there, you never have to realign it. You just slide it up front, replace the taking lens and slide it back as close as you want to the taking lens. Plus, if you have a taking lens with a 58 millimeter front, that fits perfectly inside the lens support. It's amazing. Slide it back and it, everything holds up pretty nicely together without the need of screwing things together, which is a major time saver. As with the original Bell & Howell, you focus your taking lens to infinity and you do all the focus work on the b &H. The original plan was to sell mod kits so each user can make their own Bell & Howells, but even though this is a simple process, it has more than enough room for messing up the lens. For this reason, Bull decided to sell final modded units instead of a bunch of parts and a tutorial. I understand and support his decision considering that the original post on EOSHD is a detailed tutorial on how to make your own at the expense of material tests and loads of time. You can find the modded Bell & Howells on eBay for around a thousand bucks with slight variation up and down according to the uh, condition of the original lens and the helicoid because some of them can focus closer, some of them not so close, so that creates a little bit of variation in the price. On a detailed breakdown of per lens parts, labor, and tools uh, that Chris showed me, 
A thousand dollars is a great deal. As far as resolution flares and sensor coverage goes, the original tests for the Bell and Howe are still valid since the mod doesn't change any of these things. And it's more of a real world use thing. So now's the interesting part. Now this is more like what I expected when I first discovered that the Bell and Howell was single focus. The ability to rack focus quickly makes a world of difference to this adapter. The lens support is also superb. I made a very compact rig for handheld shooting and switching between taking lenses was much easier than any of the other setups I've tested so far. Crop is still intense for my taste, but I believe this is indeed a lens for small sensors and it could achieve mind-blowing results when combined with the right camera. True, the mod makes it considerably more expensive than the original Bell & Howell, but opposed to any single focus solution that attaches to projection lenses, this one doesn't make the system heavier, nor does it add any artifacts. It's also cheaper than a projection lens plus a single focus solution for two times bokeh and some of the coolest flares in the market. I really can't get tired of these. I'd like to take a moment to thank Chris Bold for the collaborative process we've been on and for the courage and persistence to keep trying and working on the mod through so many months. Bold is also one of the main collaborators for the Lencyclopedia's current form, so the guy's pretty solid. Getting to meet new amazing people in the making of each episode is one of my favorite parts of making these anamorphic videos. Moving in this direction, feel free to ask questions and suggest upcoming episodes in the comments below. And now's the perfect time to subscribe, to check out the archives and the other videos that I already put up with different mods, different tutorials, reviews and everything. And if you want more, there's always more and you can check the blog for written versions of every single video that you can find here, plus the Anamorphic on a Budget guide entirely for free, which is my graduation work. So I'll see you next week. Chit Feldens out.